Hi guys, welcome to Maida Vibes. I'm Maida and today I just wanted to do a cat eye set from some supplies I got from Timu for Halloween. I know it's kind of late but I just got time yesterday to do them plus I just received the items yesterday. Um, so to start off I did get a few different colored uh, colored French tips. So as you can see the first one was pink. This one's like a bluish which is perfect for summer uh, nail sets. And then I also got orange. Red. Which I love these tips so much. They are a little long um, for me personally. Uh, but they're very cute. And as you can see since they're clear. It's like easy to use uh, glue gel to put them on. I also got these oval shaped ones. I will link everything down below and then these Halloween ones which I love I am going to be using these in a set my second set that I'm going to be doing I think tomorrow and white French tips full cover though um, I also got some stamping plates um, like a bunch of them so these are some lace type ones And then some moon and like universal witchy ones and then some cat and moon ones. I don't know, these made me think of like witchy vibes, I guess. I love the cat and the moon ones, which are so cute. And then I also got some Christmas ones. I haven't tried these yet. Um, I'm pretty bad with stamping plates, so I definitely need to practice before I do a video with them because I, for the life of me, cannot get stamping correct. <clears throat> so yeah, I got a few Christmas ones. Very cute. And then some fall leaf ones. Um, some other Halloween ones, like which are really cute, and also some more fall ones. More Halloween, more uh, fall leaf ones. I got a bunch, honestly. They were very cheap. I will link them down below. I think the Halloween ones were a six pack, though, and I think they're sold out when I last checked. These are cute. They have little witches, but I'm sure there's other ones that I could link down below. They are very, um, they're a very good price. And then I also got a bunch of press-ons, which are also really cheap, like a dollar or two dollars. Um, just got a bunch of different ones. These were my favorite ones with the faces since I'm really bad at drawing faces. These were really cute too. And of course the skeleton bone ones. And these are like, I love these so much with the flowers and the ghosts. So they all come with like I think 24 pieces each and then norm they all come with uh, the nail tabs and you know what all of them come with i also got some mitzi jelly polishes blue you saw the green and neat across and then this jelly amber one which is actually one i use i love this color it was like perfect for fall it's like an amber burnt orange type of color and then I got some cat eye gel polish and then a red um, jelly one I also got some stamping polish um, and now to just get in with the set I am gonna do full prep today so I'm just gonna push back my cuticles very gently I'm not sure why it's blurry right now. I didn't really realize that it was before. I think it should clear up soon, hopefully. I 
not sure why I reversed this, but I put on the cuticle remover first and then I did that. Um, but I guess I put the film together wrong. Sorry about that. But I do do that first before pushing back the cuticles and then removing everything. Once it's all dried up, I do go ahead and use this cuticle bit. I don't know why it's still so blurry. I'm not understanding why. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up around the cuticles. It's also cleaning up whatever glue um, was left over from the previous set. And then I'm just going to roughen up the nail surface just a little, clean up whatever cuticle, dried, dead cuticle I missed. And then I buff the uh, nail plate. Wipe off the excess, <clears throat> the dust and whatever, and then I'm going to go in with an alcohol wipe and just clean the nail surface. So if there's any more leftover debris, it doesn't stay on there. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with the dehydrator. I'm going to put that on all the nails. And then once that's dry, I'm going to go in with the primer. And then once that's dry, I'm going to go in with the Jello Jello Peel Off Base Coat. I'm going to put on the, the whole surface of the nail. Just put a thin layer and then I'm going to cure that for full 60 seconds in my nail lamp. <laughs> I guess I got distracted here. <laughs> really sorry about that. Definitely got distracted. Then, like I said, I'm going to cure it, and then we're just going to get into putting the oval tips on. I've always wanted to try the oval ones, I guess, because they look a little more natural, but I was just very curious. I've never tried the oval shape. Um, the tips, I'm going to go in with this glue. It's a pretty thick consistency. I've gotten, I got this glue from Timu as well. I'll link that down below as well. And the lamp that I'm using, I'm just doing a quick flash cure for literally like five seconds not even um and then i'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of the nails i'm sorry i keep going off camera i didn't realize i was Uh, once I got all the tips on, I did do a full cure for 60 seconds in a large nail lamp, my whole hand, and then I'm going in with a uh, no wipe top coat on the underside so that nothing like sticks, like I have cats and their hair gets all over and everything, and I just don't, I just want it to be nice and clean on the underside. I don't want any debris or anything sticking to it.
And then I'm going to go ahead and cure that once I'm done for a full 60 seconds as well. And then I'm just going to go ahead and file the free edge, remove the little tab that's sticking out. I honestly wasn't sure how I felt about this um, shape, but I kind of, now that I'm looking at my nails, I kind of do like the shape. I think I was a little, what do you guys think of this oval shape? <laughs> Once I'm done with that, I did brush everything off. And then I'm going to go in with a base coat on the surface of the tips. I went ahead and did that. I cured that for 30 seconds, I think it was. And then I'm going to go in with this black polish. I think this is the Beatles. I can't really tell, but it was kind of sh more sheer than I wanted it to be. I kind of... I'm looking for, I need to find a black, because every black I use is like the sheer. I just want a one coat black. So if you guys have any recommendations that's like a really like legit black in which I could just do one coat and it's like dark, dark black, please let me know down below in the comments. I have tons of blacks and all of them are like, I have to do multiple coats to get the solid black color that I want. As you can see on the pinky, it's like sheer. I don't know why. Maybe I should have mixed the bottle, actually. Because it's been a while since I've used black. Since for summer, I don't really do that much black. Uh, so maybe I should have mixed sh shake in the bottle or something. I don't really know. So it's A220s. So I think that is Beatles. I, honestly, I don't really like this black. Um, but that's whatever. So I did have to do like, I think two coats of it and then I cured for 60 seconds between in between each coat. And now I'm going in with this other um, cat eye gel that I did in a previous Timu haul, which I will link down below. I think it's sold out, but it's like the silvery color. It's very bright. I love it. I did do two coats of it um, to give it more of an effect. And the magnet I also got from Timo. I'll link that down below as well. And I'm sorry I'm off the camera again. I think at this point it was getting really late and I was getting really tired. So I kind of wasn't really paying attention to the recording and I'm sorry about that. But just look how gorgeous this color is. I love this magnet. It's so like, it's so noticeable. It's just beautiful. It's so pretty. I love it. Like I said, I will link it down below. Everything that I'm using, pretty much, I'll link it down below if I say it. Look how beautiful the cat eye turned out. It was so gorgeous. And now I'm going in with that Jelly Amber Gel Polish that I showed you guys earlier. Because it's like this orangey color. And I think it's just like perfect for like Halloween and fall. I love the color so much. I did buy like this orangish magnetic gel, um, but I couldn't find it for this video. I had just organized my nail section um, that I've been meaning to do. I literally have been had all my stuff in like bags um, because I had just recently gotten married and I moved into my husband's house, um, my husband's condo with him. So I didn't have like my nail stuff set up. So I just set it up over the weekend. So I'm still missing some stuff. So. I think I, I and nail set came out good with the items that I did have. Um, and then I did cure that for a full 60 seconds. And now I'm going in with the top coat because I think I stopped at this point because it was getting late and I had work the next day. So, but for you guys, for you guys, it's going to be like right away for me. It was like the next day. And also, I'm sorry, I still don't understand why it's so blurry. Like, sometimes it's not, and then sometimes it is. I'm really sorry. I'm using my phone for this, and I don't know what's going on with it. I think it did fix the neck. I, I did fix it for the next night, so I think it's better. So 
So I'm just getting a top coat, the no white top coat. That is the, I forgot what time. It's a diamond shine one. I forgot what company that was. But look how gorgeous these turned out with the orange and the magnetic. It turned out so pretty. Um, so this was the next day. As you can see, the filming turned out much better. So I'm going with these cute cat and pumpkin stickers that I got also got from Timu from a previous haul. I'll still post the stuff down below though. I don't know if they're sold out. Um, I think they were sold out. So I'm just using different stickers that I had from Timu. I think that cat with a pumpkin is so cute. And then I ended up using one of the pumpkins from the same sticker sheet. These stickers were so gorgeous. And now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of feel like I should have done like a solid gel circle on top. Like of a pumpkin at least to make it more 3D. But I think I was really tired at this point and I was just ready to get this nail set over with. And because I do work full time, so I do this after I get home from work. And since Halloween is literally right around a corner, I like needed to do this ASAP, but just, I think the stickers are not really cute. And then I used this spider sticker from a different um, sticker sheet, which I'll also link down below. That one didn't really pop that much because it's orange and then the base was kind of orangish, so it didn't really show too well, but... And then I think, oh yeah, for those three nails, then I decided to do like those little star things since I am so bad at drawing them. I, they had stickers on these spider sheets. So I put them on the three nails, the cat, pumpkin, and spider. It was hard to get these stickers off these sheets, honestly. It was so annoying especially with a glove. I guess I could have just taken it off, but. But yeah, I thought they turned out so cute. Like the, I really love the cat eye effect on here, even though I put on the orange jelly polish, it still pops and it's so noticeable. I loved it. And I normally keep my nails on for like oh, over a week so before I do a new set. And then next, I guess after this set and then I'm doing another Halloween set with those um, bloody nail tips that you guys saw. Um, I'm going to do that tomorrow as well. And for the pinky, I just got the these um, this hand, uh, hand charm which I also got from Timu, I'm pretty sure. I'll link that down below as well. Like I said, at this point, I was really tired and I was just trying to get done with this nail set. So that's how that turned out. Um, and then I went ahead and I had these cute bat charms. I kind of wish they weren't as thick because they don't really look like bats, but this is how the nail set turned out. I love the cat eye effect. I'm just going in with the thick top coat on all of them. I'm going to do a thick layer just to encapsulate basically the um, stickers and everything. But just look how gorgeous the cat and the pumpkin. I Like I really love the effect on the, these nails. I, I don't think I've ever done cat eye that much really because the magnets don't work. But these um, gels gel polish cat eye gel polishes I got from Timu really worked they were like very like noticeable so yeah as you can see I'm going over a few times with the top coat and this is the thumb one I'm making sure I get the top coat in where the charms are glued down as well to be secure
and then I'm gonna cure that for a full 60 seconds of course and this is how they turned out look at the cat eye effect it turned out so gorgeous I was really happy about this let me know what you guys think down below um just going in with the cuticle oil of course the cuticle oil I think I also got from Timu I think it's like watermelon smelling it smells really good um but yeah so let me know what you guys thought of the set um let me know about the black polish and um you know i hope you guys have a safe and happy halloween if you celebrate enjoy um and you know i'm just gonna let the rest play out but thanks for watching guys subscribe like comment i appreciate all of you I have a great uh, day. <clears throat>